go before us, O Lord, in our worship, and grant that what we say with our lips we may believe in our hearts, and what we believe in our hearts we may show forth in our lives through Jesus Christ, the true and the living God. Benedictus Deus Pater, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus, et Benedictum Regnum Eius, nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. The sacrifice of the Holy Mass on this, the baptism of Christ, is offered to the praise and glory of Almighty God in thanksgiving for the revelation of the Word made flesh the light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of God's people Israel. As we have seen unprecedented violence against the democratic process in our nation this last week, we pray for peace, not only in the world, but for peace in our nation, in our many communities, in our hearts and in our homes. Omnipotens Deus, cui omne copatet, et omnis voluntas loquitur, et quem nullum latit secretum, purifica per infusionem sancti spiritus, cogitationis cordis nostri, ut te perfecte diligere, et sanctum nomen tuum digne laudare meriamur, per Christum dominum nostrum. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate these most sacred mysteries of the very body and blood of Christ, we recall our sins and our failings. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God, most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against thee in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved thee with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of thy Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us and forgive us that we may delight in thy will and walk in thy ways. To the glory of thy name. Amen. Omnipotens Deus, Pater Noster Celestis, qui pro summa sua misericordia peccatorum remissionem promisit iis omnibus qui, serio atqua ex animo penitentes, cum vere fide ad eum se converterint, Miseriato vestri demitat, et condonet vobis omnia peccata vestra. Vos confirmet et corroboret in omni bono, et vos peducat ad vitam eternam, per Jesum Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Oremus, let us pray. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus didst reveal him to be thy Son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit. Grant that we, being born again by water and the Spirit, may be faithful to our calling as thine adopted children. Through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. A reading from the first book of Moses, commonly called Genesis. 
in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Cleanse my heart and my lips, Lord Jesus Christ, that I may workly and faithfully proclaim thy holy gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord shall give strength unto his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. Alleluia, alleluia. The continuation of the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Mark. Glory be to thee, O Lord. John did baptize in the wilderness and preach the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea and they of Jerusalem, and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. And John was clothed with camel's hair and with a girdle of a skin about his loins, and he did eat locusts and wild honey and preached, saying, There cometh one mightier than I after me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. I indeed have baptized you with water, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee, and was baptized of John in Jordan. And straightway, coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens opened, and the Spirit, like a dove, descending upon him. And there came a voice from heaven, saying, Thou art my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. This is the Gospel of the Lord Praise be to thee, O Christ. From Thomas Merton's New Seeds of Contemplation, his chapter entitled, From Faith to Wisdom. From Faith to Wisdom. It can easily be seen that a purely emotional worship, a life of instinct, an orgiastic religion, is no spiritual life, but also a merely rational life, a life of conscious thought and rationally directed activity is not a fully spiritual life. In particular, it is a characteristic modern error to reduce man's spirituality to mere mentality and to confine the whole spiritual life purely and simply in the reasoning of the mind. Then the spiritual life is reduced to a matter of thinking, of verbalizing, rationalizing, etc., but such a life is truncated and incomplete. The true spiritual life is a life neither of Dionysian orgy nor of Apollinarian clarity. It transcends both. It is a life of wisdom, 
a life of Sophianic love. In Sophia, the highest wisdom principle, all the greatness and majesty of the unknown that is in God and all that is rich and maternal in his creation are united inseparably as paternal and maternal principles, the uncreated father and created mother wisdom. Faith is what opens to us this higher realm of unity, of strength, of light, of light, of Sophianic love, where there is no longer the limited and fragmentary light provided by rational principles, but where the truth is one and undivided and takes all to itself in the wholeness of sapientia or Sophia. When St. Paul said that love was the fulfillment of the law and that love had delivered man from the law, he meant that by the Spirit of Christ we were incorporated into Christ himself, the power and wisdom of God, so that Christ himself thenceforth became our own life, and light and love and wisdom. Our full spiritual life is life in wisdom, life in Christ. The darkness of faith bears fruit in the light of wisdom. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father for the Church Universal and in the Anglican cycle of prayer especially, we pray for the Church of Aotearoa, the Church of New Zealand. We pray for all bishops, priests, deacons, for all who lead the religious life as monks and nuns and friars. We pray for all engaged in ministry, both ordained and lay. We pray for John, Diane and Samuel, our bishops, for Michael, our presiding bishop, for Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, for Francis, Bishop of Rome, Bartholomew, Patriarch of the East, and for the leaders of the free churches. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our world. We pray especially for those parts of our world where there is violence or warfare. We pray for peace in our own nation. Following the violence of this week, we pray for peace in Washington, D.C. We give thanks for the brave men and women who guard the peace and safety of our streets and our many communities. And we pray for all engaged in the democratic process, for all politicians, that without fear, or favor they may exercise their democratic rights. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for individuals who need our intercessions. This evening for Hugh de Winter and George, Doris Martin, Jimmy Hughes, Julio Palacios, the Martinez family, the Petri family, for Cynthia, Heather Griffith, and Miles Griffith. For Roy Kennish, Jeffrey Corley, Thomas Thanangarden, Daniel Roy Clark, Courtney Smith, 
Shirley Taylor and her family, Joan Johnson, Adam Shepard, Byron Shaliner, Terry Cromley, Suzanne Tenner, Nora Wright, Stan and Serge, Dwight Karshner, Jolyn Crofts, Dana Logan, for Ayako Travis, Elizabeth Finkel, Alison Platt, Melinda Porter, and June Morgan. We pray for R.C. Bautista, Joey Graves, Neil Parker, Dala Gushias. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died among the recently departed Simon Stokes, Darrell Gray, Pierre Cardin, Dawn Wells, Ricky Hemenway, Elizabeth Platt, Canon George Regus, late rector of All Saints Pasadena, Tommy Lasorda, Lynn Walker, Tom Labonge, and for those whose years mind fall near this time, recorded in our parish's chantry book, Warwick Howe, Jake Judice, Bill Robinson, Abraham Fred March, William Scholes, Elodia Maria Hojas Pinzon, Finan O'Shea, Gary Tosca, Rosemary Herman, Jorge Petri, Ruth Robley, Mark Russey, Willette Wildrick Samuels, David Johnson Bishop, Bartlett Austin, Edward Nile Southard, Albert Zdenek, Jean Hester Carter. For our own departed loved ones, friends and families, rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Merciful Father, accept these our prayers for the sake of thy Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We are the body of Christ in one spirit. We were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscum. We offer one another a sign of Christ's peace and the easiest way at this time of social distancing is simply to bow and wish peace to your company. Please note that the latest podcast is now available and if you would like to um, support us, please go to our parish website, www.stthomashollywood.org, and that address is coming up in the comment box, even as I speak. Please do pray for peace in our democratic process in this nation. After this week's events, we have been very disturbed and distressed indeed by the violence we have seen in our nation's capital. So please continue to pray for peace, justice, and for healing. Let your light so shine before all that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven.
by the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Intercessionem Beati Michae, Archangelis Princeps and Leorum, Quis Tantis and Dexterus, Art Hari Vincentio, Is to Dinuit, To Motori Suavitatis Acipere, Orate et soror, fratres et sorores, ut meum ac vestrum sacrificium acceptabile fiat apud Deum Patrim omnipotentem. Sucipiat Dominus sacrificium de manibus meis, ad laudem et gloriam nominis sui, ad utilitatem quoque nostrum, totiusque ecclesiae sue sancte. Sursum corda abemus ad dominum, gratias agamus, Deo nostrum, dignum et justum est. Vere dignum et justum est, equum et salutare, nos tibi semper et ubique gratias agere, domine sancte pater, omnipotens eterna Deus, per Iesum Christum, dominum nostrum, et ideo cum angelis et archangelis, cum tronis et dominationibus, cum quae omni militia celestis exercitus, imnum gloriae tue canimus, sine fine decentes, sanctus, 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 dominus Deus sabaot, pleni sunt celi et terra, Gloria tua, Osanna, in excelsis. Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Osanna, in excelsis. Vere sanctus est Domine, condita creatura, supplices ergo te, Domine de precamur, ut heic munera, que tibi sacranda de tulimus, eodem spiritu sanctificare dinieris, ut corpus et sanguis fiant filii tui dominum nostrum, Jesu Christi. 
chi e adem nocte quatra debetur accepit panem et gratias agens fregit deditque discipulis suis dicens accipite et manducate hoc est enim corpus meum quod pro vobis datur hoc facite in meam commemorationem Dominus meus et Deus meus. Simili modo postquam cenatum est accepit calicem et gratis agens dedit ilis dicens. Bibite ex eo omnes ec est enim sanguis meus novi testamenti qui pro vobis et pro multis effenditur in remissionem peccatorum hoc facite quotius unque biberitis in meam commemorationem Meus. Mysterium fidei, mortem tuum annunciamus domine, et tuum resurrectionem confitemur, donic venias. Memores igitur domine, justem filii tui salutaferi passionis nec non mirabilis resurrectionis et ascensionis in celum, sed et praestolantis alterum eus adventum, offerimus tibi gratias referentes hoc sacrificium vivum et sanctum, atque egeziam offerimus et praesentamus tibi domine nos ipsos animas nostras et corpora nostra, ostiam rationalem sanctam et vivam, humiliter obsecrantes ut quot quot Participes sumus uius, sacrosancte communionis, sacrosanctum filii tui Iesu Christi corpus, et sanguinem digne sum serimus, tua gratia et celesti benedictione repleamur, et unum corpus cum ipso fiamus, ut in nobis maneat et nos in ilo. Et quam quam, in digni sumus, propter multitudinem peccatorum nostrorum, qui tibi olum sacrificium offeramus, anc tamen debitam oblationem servitutis nostre, non estimato meriti, sed venia quesumus largito acipias. Per Iesum Christum Dominum nostrum, Per ipsum, et cum ipso, et in ipso, est tibi Deo Patri Omnipotenti in unitate spiritus sancti omnis ono et gloria per omnia secula, seculorum. Amen. Praeceptis salutaribus moniti, 
et divina institutione formati, audemus dicere, Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo, quia tuum est regnum et potestas, et gloria in secula. Amen. Alleluia, Pascha nostrum immolatus est Christus, etaque epulemur, Alleluia. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Ecce agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, dona Dei pro plebe Dei. And now, on behalf of all who are unable to make their physical communion at this time, I recite the prayer for spiritual communion that we may know the blessings of the presence of Christ. My Jesus, we believe that thou art present in the most holy sacrament. We love thee above all things, and we desire to receive thee into our soul, since we cannot at this moment receive thee physically, come at least spiritually into our heart, we embrace thee as if thou art already here and unite ourselves wholly to thee. Never permit us to be separated from thee. Amen. Corpus et sanguis domini nostri, Jesu Christi, custodia me in vitam eternam. Amen. Sanguis Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi, custodia me in vitam eternam. Amen. May eat and drink salvation to my everlasting soul.
rendering thanks unto Almighty God for the blessings and grace given to us in this holy sacrament of the altar, we pray for peace, for justice, for reconciliation and healing. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious, for his mercy endureth forever. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, thou hast graciously accepted us as living members of thy Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and thou hast fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace, and grant us strength and courage to love and serve thee with gladness and singleness of heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pax Dei, quae superat omnem intellectum, conservet corda vestra, et mentes vestras, in cogitatione et amore Dei, et filii Jesus Iesu Christi, Domini Nostri, et benedictio omnipotentis Dei, Patris, et filii, et Spiritus Sancti, vobis adsit semperque, vobiscum maneat. Amen. I invite you now to join with us in the recitation of the Angelus, the Memorial of the Incarnation. Angelus Domini Nunciavit Maria, et concepit de Spiritu Sancto, Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Ecce ancili Domini, fiat mihi secundum verbum tuum, Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Et verbum caro factum est, et habitavit in nobis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Ora pro nobis sancta Dei genetrix, ut digni efficiamo promissionibus Christi. Oremus. Gratiam tuum quesmus Domine, mentibus nostris infunde, ut qui angelo nunciante Christi filii, tui incarnationem cognovimus, per passionem eos et crucem, ad resurrectionis gloriam perducamur, per umdem Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, ite misa est. Deo gratias, alleluia, alleluia. <coughs> 